Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching the English Nhiệm Bung Phước Radio Television Stations and Newspaper. I'm Hưng Kek and now are the headlines for today. Far program to improve people's status in Bình Phước. Turning around 10 to 20% of project capital to support community production development. Vietnam's EV market to see strong growth in 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, to implement the master plan to improve Vietnamese people's status in second phase 2023-2030 in Binh Phuc province, the Provincial People Committee had issued a plan and a side department and branches to implement four programs. The Department of Health is the leading agency in the development of biological indicators and standards for physical strength, height, and nutrition for pregnant mothers, infants, children, and adolescents up to the age of 18. The Department of Education and Training has the task of coordinating with related departments and agencies to improve the quality of physical education classes, organize extracurricular physical activities, and guide students to exercise at home. And the Department of Culture, Sports and Tourism will implement a program of education and awareness raising about Vietnamese people's height and physical strength in the province. Bing Phu has set a target of the average height of an 18-year-old man being 168.5 cm and 157.5 cm for an 18-year-old woman. The Provincial People Committee has issued a decision on a partial resolving mechanism for support capital in cash or in kind to implement a project supporting the development of community productions under the National Tardis Program for sustainable poverty reduction in 2023-2025 PTS in Binh Phu Province. Agencies, units, organizations and individuals involved in projects will receive support for the development of community production under the National Target Program on Sustainable Poverty Reduction for the 2023-2025 to period. There's no capital turnaround of the projects, with models being implemented in the communes of Region 3. The rate of capital turnaround in these communes is 10% per project, 15% per project in communes of Region 1, and 20% per project in the remaining communes. The maximum turnaround time is no more than three months from the end of the project. The decision states that revolving funds are used to support new projects in the National Target Program for Sustainable Poverty Reduction, in which priority is given to projects for communes in extremely difficult areas and ethnic minority areas. The Benfuk Electricity Company has made preparation to ensure safe and stable power supply for people in Benfuk province during the National Day holiday, which lasts from September the 1st to the 4th. Benfuk PC has proactively established an operating method and carefully prepared human resources, materials, and communication systems to ensure safe and reliable operations of transmission lines prepare sufficient backup supplies and equipment for operation management units when required, and arrange ships to operate and prepare electricity 24-7 on public holidays. In particular, it would not cut power supply in the entire province from 12 a.m. on September 1st to 6 a.m. on September 5th, except to handle incidents or special cases. Let's continue our bulletin with story of other countries. More detail in the following report. Vietnam and Singapore are top important partners of each other in many fields, from trade and investment to diplomacy, security and defense. The remark was made by Dr. Lee Hong Hiep, a senior fellow at Yusuf Ishak Institute, in an interview with the Vietnam News Agency ahead of Singaporean Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong's official visit to Vietnam from August 27 to 29. He said the fact that leaders of the two countries have regularly paid mutual visits is understandable and a positive trend. 
According to the expert, the investment ties between the two countries, especially Singapore's investment in Vietnam, is a bright spot in their bilateral relations. In addition, as the two sides share strategic visions on the regional and international security situation, they can also consider deepening bilateral cooperation in security and defense, the expert noted. Passenger electric vehicle sales in Vietnam are expected to at least double this year, according to BMI Research, a FITS solution research unit. The BMI report predicts passenger EV sales to expand by some 115% year-on-year to reach around 18,000 units in 2023. The report also forecasts passenger EV sales in Vietnam to average an annual growth of 25.8% over 2023 to 2032, to reach an annual sales volume of around 65,000 units, up from 8,400 units in 2022. According to BMI, Vietnam's passenger EV market is currently dominated by VentFast, which held more than 50% market share in 2022. The rest of the market is held by Chinese brands. A strong air growth is expected to be fueled by increased deliveries of VentFast vehicles, as the local EV maker steps up production throughout 2023. Such EV manufacturers as Benfast, Wuling Hongwan, Skoda, and Hyundai are expected to drive strong market growth for the 2023 to 2032 period, BMI noted. According to Insider, foreign direct investment attractions alongside consumption and tourism is considered a silver lining in Vietnam's economic growth in the coming month of the year. According to the Ministry of Planning and Investment, by July the 20, the total newly registered capital and capital contribution and share purchase by foreign investors reached nearly $16.3 billion, up 4.5% over the same period slot year. Meanwhile, capital implemented by foreign investors project reached nearly $11.6 billion, increasing by 0.8% from the same period slot year. After falling for six months, Vietnam FDI attraction increased in July thanks to the government timely and flexible solution to support businesses. In July only, total registered capital was over $2.8 billion, increasing by 85.7% compared to the same period last year. New investment capital and new projects increased sharply over the first month of the year. Small and middle-sized foreign investors continue to get interest and confident in Vietnam investment climates. We have more news coming up next. Let's take a look. Vietnam's Nakama Yosako Dance Group performs at the 21st Harajuku Omotisando Chenki Matsuri Super Yosako which opens in Tokyo, Japan on August 26. On the occasion of the 50th founding anniversary of Vietnam-Japan diplomatic ties, Nakama Yosakoi is the only foreign team invited to perform at the festival, along with more than 100 local groups. The 24-strong group performs a dance named Coloring, which was inspired by the Vietnamese fairy tale A Peacock and a Crow at the festival and won the applause of the audience. The Harajuku Omotesando Chenki Matsuri Super Yosakoi is held annually in Tokyo to honor the traditional Yosakoi dance of Kochi Prefecture. This year, it features more than 100 teams with over 5,000 dancers and is expected to attract nearly 1 million visitors. And that is for the edition of BPTV News. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.